August 2018. So I'm getting ready to go to meet someone from the local Catholic Church. Oh no. Putting this makeup on this. Oh shit. Gotta go to my GP. Mm -hmm. Get him to fill out that form, which my counselor at the employment agency said asked him to fill it out. Oh, oh I also need to get a referral for the psychologist because uh, the referral only lasts for six sessions. And if I, if I had, see, we get only like 10 sessions a garment pays, and I pay 25. But after that, for the year, I have to pay everything. That's like, I have to pay her $85. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I can't believe mental health treatment is so expensive. Isn't that kind of weird? Because like a lot of the people who are mentally ill are <laughs> kind of poor and, <laughs> you know? It's like, how does that work? How does that compute? Ugh, I don't know, this is wrong with it. Maybe there, there is a bulk billing, oh. You can get a psychiatrist who bulk bills means you don't have to pay any money. I'm searching for those. There are but there are very few of them do that. Um, they bulk bill select patients. Maybe they bulk bill people who are like who can't afford it or something. I don't know. But my uh, so the one I used to go to the he used to do that. I didn't have to pay any money to see him. So there are some you can find uh, psychiatrists who can do something like that. <sighs> you know, my current psychiatrist, I have to, like, she charges like $210 and I pay like 110 or something. Or 100, I don't know. But I only see her I don't see her every month or anything, you know, so it's okay. feeling a bit low. It's feeling low. Mm, it's feeling anxious about how to go out and meet new people. You know, all this kind of anxiety provoking.
got some hair here. Yeah. yeah, not all of the hair has been taken out. There's some hair, hair here and there. I was feeling tired. No, I am feeling tired. Mm, I'm feeling tired. I feel tired. I'm tired. Oh, I bought this um, six movie collection on iTunes or X Men films. It's like twenty five dollars. It mm -hmm. felt like such a good deal. I don't know if I'll watch it. I, I, I don't know. I buy all these <laughs> movies and I don't watch it. Uh, I don't know. It's like a sh shopping therapy. <laughs> Oh, I'll buy that. You know, I've got all these Bibles and books and movies. And I just feel very tired. I just don't, I don't feel like watching anything. I don't feel like reading anything. I don't feel like doing much. Getting all the makeup on the computer. Oh, no. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, I'll be... Uh, my appointment is at 2. I'll be there in a. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, well, you know, um, yeah, it's attempting to grow one. <laughs> what can I do? It's really bad, isn't it? Isn't it? Bad? See, my hair is attempting to grow. It's attempting. Uh, anyway. So I gotta go and Oh well, there were some movies I, I think there was this there was, there was, They had these sales of like uh superhero movies Deadpool and X Men X Men nine movie collection. Oh man, I got the uh Six movie collection. What's in the nine movie? How much is that? Oh, that's like 39. Eh, I don't think I would have bought that. Uh, anyway, um, so, uh, what was I thinking? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heroes and villains. Uh, the Phantom. That was an old movie I, I saw. Alright, so I'll be going and uh, I gotta go to my. Where's my chin? Uh, uh, oh, 
man, this is weird, man. I wonder if it's... I want my chin to be pointy. <laughs> um, it's not that bad, but uh, all these little things. Uh, so, um, yeah, I gotta go. So, so it's uh, one <coughs> one forty-two p.m. Look at my hair. So, uh, uh, I feel lost. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Do I have a direction in life? What am I doing? I feel lost. I feel so totally lost. I feel lost. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, look at that pimple. Oh, my mouth is very dry. My teeth. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I look at my teeth and think, oh, my teeth are ugly. But then I think I'm happy. I'm glad. I'm grateful to have teeth. I am grateful to have teeth. And I'm grateful that I have access to a dentist. I'm grateful that I got some of those fillings done. So... There's a lot to be grateful about. <clears throat> you know, see on the sides, like the the cracking, is <laughs> because of the um. I think it's a medication. Is like uh, the lamotrigine. It's making me uh, <clears throat> dry mouth. It's actually like it hurts, like on the side. It's like I have to put oil. So it's like. <sighs> Mm. So I gotta go in and oh, it's a bit sunny. Have to walk and uh, I'm gonna meet them in the front of the church and I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. It's like uh uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I sent a couple of emails to different churches. You're the only one who responded. <laughs> so I guess so I'm coming here. I'm not even sure where I'm, if I want to be a Catholic. But I'm here anyway. I don't know, I just feel so. Lost. I feel lost. I feel lost. Yeah. It's 2.32. I finished my appointment. It was, it was a nice start. Uh, I mean, yeah. So I started my RCIA. That was uh, actually, when, I don't know, one of my mom. So it was good. Uh, it was good to have a conversation. And uh, no, I can go at my own pace. There's no pressure. So, you know, I just honestly said, you know, I was feeling confused. I was feeling lost. I don't know what I'm doing. And, um, you yeah, know, so I said, I told like how I have doubts about the resurrection of Jesus. Like, I found that I still find it very hard to believe. And she said, yeah, that's okay. It's okay to have doubts. And, you know, that's a very big thing. So, um, So it's good, it's good. Uh, so she, she said I can go to. It's a bit windy. So I can, I'm free to attend any, any, any of them, the, the mass, the how do you pronounce it? Mass, mass, mass. Uh, so I can go there anytime. Uh, that'll be interesting go to one of these masses and I can just sit there I don't have to do anything so everything is you know it's like 
you know it's all you know, it's all tailored to to me and um, yeah so I started the RCIA I didn't have to do anything formal it's just like <laughs> I asked her, so when do I, how do I uh, start the RCA? She goes, oh, it's already start, it started at 2 p.m. today. <laughs> Meaning, when I made the inquiry, it started. So I said, you know, I had all these doubts and, you know, I like the only thing I have problems with is the resurrection because it's like a miracle and it's like, I still have problems about that. And, she goes, and I said, can you be a Catholic and still have doubts? And she said, yes, yes, you know, she said she's also had, you know, people have doubts and... <sighs> anyway, so... So I'm glad I went, you know, it was difficult, you know, when you're meeting people and, you know, I just felt depressed and... You no, know, I talked a lot about my, you know, how I feel depressed and I have anxiety and... You know, so, you know, I was just having a normal conversation. <laughs> <laughs> talking about things uh, honestly as I can um, yeah and she seemed like a nice person and you know as, as is you know so take this one day at a time and yeah so I'll be I, I said I wanted to do you know see once a week so it'll be good to actually talk to someone once a week and you know, have a conversation about spirituality and, and at, at this moment I just feel very depressed. <laughs> I feel depressed, I feel tired, but I'm glad I, <clears throat> you know, because I said like how I was very socially isolated and, uh, you know, so, <clears throat> how do I feel? I feel good. I feel good that I started this thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it very slowly, you know, when we go to the mass and see how that goes and, you know, because uh, she said that uh, right now it's very flexible, but it may be starting of the, like, next year, if I'm still going, then she has to start doing a timetable thing because then <laughs> they can prepare me for baptism, which is usually in Easter. So, I don't know, so I'll see how it goes and um, maybe, who knows, next year I might, uh, you know, prepare myself for baptism, I don't know. So, uh, yeah. so, so anyway, I, uh, I asked like about like, uh, how, what is the church's position transgender and LGBT, because I don't know. She seemed, <laughs> I also told like how I sent all these emails to these different churches, and I know you're the only one who responded. <laughs> so I was kind of frank and honest that I can be sometimes. So yes, um, I'm glad I went, and I'll be going next Tuesday. So, so the, the idea is to go every Tuesday at 3 p.m. and um, yeah, go every Tuesday at 3 p.m. and that's the plan for now. So now I'm gonna go to my GP, and yeah, oh, it's exactly 4 p.m. <laughs> anyway, so I got the form filled, got a referral for the psychiatrist <laughs> and now I am going home it is cold I feel tired oh man I feel tired so anyway I'm going home